directly or indirectly hit with Omega if you saw it in a tech business. If all you need to do is look at the difference between taxi and Uber, look what Lyft did to the taxis. Thinking about your business in fresh and innovative ways is going to help you be more successful. Yeah. I am uh, the chairman of the TDJ group. You probably see me as the pastor of the Potter's House Amen. because you see me based on how you watch TV. But behind the scenes, I have all the TDJ enterprises longer mm. than I have been the pastor of the Potter's House. All right, now. My father was an entrepreneur. My grandfather was an entrepreneur all the way back to Africa where my people were Igbos and I'm 90% Nigerian. Woo! Uh, my complete accessory and always focus on always some Igbos and Nigerians in the house make some noise. Bring me some food food. This is no longer I just smile. Anyway, okay, okay, okay. I'm back, I'm back. If you can make it, bring me on the scale. But okay. To have the opportunity to have a, what I like to call a four-legged horse that not only has the Father's House, with which you are familiar, but also has the TDJ Foundation, which was responsible for giving out $9,700,000 worth of grants to our underserved communities. All right HBCU. now. Enterprise, which is hard to define because it encompasses books and films and television and some aspects of social media, but more importantly, it's a social impact company who focuses on raising the level of underserved communities in a myriad of creative and vibrant ways, one of which is called Good Soil, where we teach entrepreneurs how to grow and scale their business to reach its highest impact. I find as in people we have a tendency to be so focused on growing our business that we don't focus on running our business. Mm -hmm. Come on now, and if you're focused on running your business uh, no. rather than focus on growing your business rather than running your business, all you did was create a job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What we want to do is turn your job where you are self-employed, you hire yourself to work for yourself into a company. That grows, that develops, that creates jobs. Did you know that over 90% of black businesses have less than two employees? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That if you would just hire one other person, you would have global, a, a significant GNP impact on the nation. Mm -hmm. This is not about taking over or excluding anybody. When we do better, the country does better. Yep, that's right. When we do better, the world does better. Mm -hmm. We do better, we raise the consciousness of understanding that there are people in the Caribbean who need your business, there are people in Ghana who need your business, there are people in Nigeria who need your business, there are people in the Congo who need your business, and for you to think globally is only made possible through technology. Technology reduces your overhead, moves up the middle land, opens up ways that you can access resources that normally would have to be shipped over here through somebody else and everybody who touches whatever you order got paid before you got to a wholesale price. You reduce your wholesale price, you increase your margin, you increase your profitability, it becomes possible for you to dream, think, and live better. To model that in front of your children is to inject into the culture of our communities a new way of thinking. Poor people will always spend all of their energy talking about other people. Mm. Mm. Middle class people will spend their energy talking about goals, how they can get their credit score up, which is really important, so that they can borrow more money and get back in debt at the end, mm. buying things that are depreciating on to the value rather than appreciating the value. Mm. Wealthy people think about ideas, yes. innovation, mm -hmm. and creativity. There you go. Because when you start thinking about innovation and creativity, you start creating an umbrella that all those other things can dwell up mm -hmm. under with the priority of producing, not consuming. If it were about consuming technology, we wouldn't need like technique. Mm -hmm. Because right now the homeless people, we could 
consume technology. But for everyone who consumes it, if we would produce it, make it, provide it, develop it, we would have customers and we would have increase. Increase isn't just something you pray about, dream about, or wish that you had. Increase is intentional. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. No one wins the Olympics by accident. Nobody gets a PhD and says, I don't know how I got this PhD. I ain't just want to be a baby. Glory to God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> no one wins a marathon without intention and without modeling and without mentoring and without catching the pace of people who have come on before you who paid the price to set the rhythm because all success has a rhythm. Yes, yes. And so you can go to the event and you can take some notes and go back home and keep your own rhythm if you want to. But my hope, my dream in you being here today is that you will go home with another rhythm. Mm -hmm. Another rhythm may change your associations, your relationships, what you talk about, who you hang around, what you buy, what you think about, and how you make contact. And good so we are focused on undergirding your vision mm. to put business, practical business concepts to your vision, to make you do the hard work of writing up a business plan for your vision and then writing it and running it like you planned it. To give you intentionality about who takes up your time on the phone. Mm. And if you can take your scroll in time and turn it into rolling time. Yes, yes, yes. You can roll much further than you can scroll. There you go. There you go. So I want you to think very deeply about being here and the privilege and the opportunity uh, to hear Brian Franklin paint on a larger level than you might be able to reach today. But when we hear that, we have a tendency to click them off because we don't think they're talking to us. But don't be afraid of information that's over your head because your, your head will grow yeah, yeah, yeah. to the level of the information that yeah. you see. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. That's yeah. 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 When you hear Michael Phillips talking about good soil, we're talking about putting infrastructure mm -hmm. up in your dream, mm -hmm. making the right connections, access to capital. We just gave away half a million dollars. Uh, at fast pitch competition at the last Good Soul Conference because we want to put an engine in your car. We don't want to just wax it. We don't just want to clean it up. We don't want it to look good so we can take pictures and put it on Instagram. Yeah. 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 We, want to make we want an awesome, vibrant community that has options for the children, how you educate them, how you train them, and how you model them for them. So this is a great opportunity. The very fact that you took the time to come is a sign that you are wide awake. Mm -hmm. That you know that you have something that needs to be fed and you are willing to pay the price and sacrifice to feed your dream. It is not every place you can go where you get not only what happens on the stage, but what happens in the restaurants and on the elevators yeah. and in the airport as you be like-minded people, because everybody's skin to you is not kin to you. Okay. Okay. Come on, somebody. We got you. We got you. We got you. We got it. We got it. So this is this is the beginning of a revolution. It's yes, sir. Not really good. It's a revolution. This yes, is the beginning of a revolution. I'm saying it again. This is the beginning of a revolution. This is the beginning of a revolution. This is the beginning of a revolution. And it begins with understanding that we are the people that we have been waiting for. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whatever country you come from, when you grow out your beard, it's kinky like mine. So why do I allow other people from another country to sell hair care products to me? We are more similar than we are divided. Mm -hmm. We have the same 
skin the same, color the same, issues, same personalities. I want you to start thinking globally yes. and not just communally. Okay. Mm. It's not just about reaching people in your area code. It's about reaching people around the world. Yes. Understanding that we are better together yes. than we are apart. Yes. Today, two companies, black-owned companies, are going to have a conversation with you that is powerful. Lightship and its impact and its influence and its integrity and its forward thinking is sitting down with good soil. So as they begin to talk to you about your dreams, we're going to talk to you about your infrastructure mm -hmm. so that you have enough support to be able to hold the weight of how you now think. Ladies and gentlemen, it affords me a great pleasure and a great honor to welcome to the stage Brian Bracken and Michael Phillips.